Welcome to Pollen Weather by Pollen Wise App. It's Tuesday, July 7th. I'm Landon Bunderson, and this is the place for daily allergy news and forecasts. Today I want to continue talking about cross-reactivity by talking about a specific instance called OAS. But first, let's do the forecast. The forecasted high pollen levels for today are showing another very high day in central Texas as well as northern Utah. For much of the rest of the country, you can expect moderate to high pollen levels. Atlanta, you might peak at low today, which would be wonderful. Michigan, you're going to have very high mold levels today, as is eastern Utah. Mold levels continue to be low in the eastern U.S. Rain will bring a little relief to eastern Texas and northern Louisiana, as well as the Gulf Shores of Alabama and northern Florida. South Carolina and western Montana will have large systems bring rain as well. Some of those storms may bring wind, which will kick up dust and mold before the rain falls, so keep that in mind. Also, Laramie and surrounding areas, as well as southern Utah and northwestern Arizona, are in for some gusty conditions. For air quality in general, the Great Lakes continues to be the story there. Conditions are worsening and will continue to do so until rain falls, and southern California is going to be poor as well. When it comes to temperatures, just another seasonal July day for most of you might be a good day to get outside unless you're extremely sensitive to pollen or mold. Yesterday we talked about cross-reactivity between two pollen types. Today we're going to talk about cross-reactivity between airborne allergens and food. This is known as oral allergy syndrome. Oral allergy syndrome, or OAS, is an allergic reaction that happens when your body responds to proteins in raw fruits or vegetables because of their similarity to the proteins in airborne allergens. So for this particular type of food allergy, there's this direct link between your allergy to pollen and your allergic response to these raw fruits and vegetables. It's an oversimplification to say that your body thinks that your food is pollen, but it is reacting to the food proteins because of the pollen that you're allergic to. OAS can cause itching or swelling in your mouth, lips, face, tongue, or throat. Usually the OAS reaction happens right away, but sometimes symptoms are delayed for up to an hour. And OAS is fairly common. For example, 50% or more of adults who are allergic to birch tree pollen experience itchiness in the mouth or throat after eating an apple or celery. If you have an allergy to grass pollen, you might experience OAS when eating peaches, celery, tomatoes, melons, and oranges. If you're allergic to ragweed, you might experience OAS when eating a banana, cucumber, melon, or zucchini. Check out our link below for more information on which pollen types cross-react with foods. For most people who experience OAS, symptoms are mild, but for some people the response can result in anaphylaxis, which is an acute allergic reaction that can be life-threatening. If certain fruits or vegetables make your mouth or throat itchy or cause swelling, you could be experiencing OAS. Obviously, if OAS bothers you, avoid the foods that cause it especially during allergy season, because it can be worse if you're experiencing them together. A few things that might help other than avoiding the food altogether are cooking or heating your food, buying canned fruits or vegetables, and peeling the raw vegetables and fruits. Obviously, if you have any concerns about OAS, you should contact a doctor. If you are experiencing excessive throat discomfort or if your symptoms are getting progressively worse, if cooked fruits and veggies cause you to experience OAS, contact a doctor. And if your OAS symptoms are causing hives, vomiting, or difficulty breathing, or if you have OAS symptoms caused by nuts, also contact a doctor. And just so we end on a little bit lighter note, for me, I experience OAS with cucumbers. And I hate cucumbers, so it's a great excuse not to eat cucumbers. So maybe it'll help you. Thanks for listening. Remember to download the PollenWise app and set your alerts. Also, like and subscribe to this channel, and have a great day.